Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is Dixon. Welcome back to another video. Today we're checking another video of people getting angry at a man who married a low maintenance woman. So let's get into the video. Actually, it's not a video. It's a post on Instagram. So this is an Instagram post that got viral on Twitter. So it became a rallying cry for many feminists to take out to Twitter to indicate that this man was cheap because his girl was not exactly demanding too much from him and he was happy with it. So uh, most of the people, most of the ladies were angry with it. So let's look at the post. So this is the post. Let's read it with this guy. Yep. Met on hinge. The rest is history. No pressure to take her on any fancy dates or to expensive restaurants. Just good old conversation and alignment with our goal. Nothing to see here, nothing wrong here, but leave it to the internet to be angry about almost anything. What's wrong here? It's fine. What did the internet say? They said this guy was cheap and he did not want to spend on the women in his life. He met on hinge and he's happy. They conversed and they bonded. So what's their old problem? Most of the tweets were not exactly available. I'm not sure if it's because of the new implementation of Twitter that restricts uh, the amount of tweets, but maybe Elon Musk is just bot <laughs> and blocking me. <laughs> Most of the tweets are offline, maybe because of the new implementations of Twitter. Uh, so we got the the pictures from Chishazet's channel. So if you want to check out Chishazet's channel, uh, please do that. Uh, so we are not taking credit for this. So someone says, God forbid a man posts me online to tell the world he got me at a discount. Why would he purposelessly do the bare minimum? Why would he want to not do his best? Why would she accept it? Why? Another person said, but why wouldn't he want to take her on a fancy date? Fancy dates aren't a bad thing. Another person replied to this person and said, they are lazy and cheap and don't want to spend money on women. They want the most they can get for the least amount of money they earn. Uh, for the least amount of money and effort. And our lady says, he literally could have just left out that one sentence. Why do you want to tell people that you paid her dust and she accepted it? Letting us know the relationship was based on alignment would have been beautiful and more than enough information, but no. <laughs> so they are angry because of the first sentence that he did not go do any fancy dates. This lady says he hates her. Free her from this homosexual adoption lord. So I think an homosexual is somebody, it's a, it's a lingo for somebody who, a man who does not make anything but leaves off the woman's income and they are in a sexual relationship kind of thing. And that person says, people in this reply is missing the point of why this caption sucks. Lord, it's not bad that she's low maintenance or that he enjoys that. But why is that the first quality of hers that he wanna highlight? Not one that celebrates her as an individual, but one that allows him to do less. Yep. So what are my thoughts? Finding someone to spend your life with is a hard thing. So for the most part, a man will not see you with less value if he intends to marry you and you are low maintenance. This is a caveat of if he intends to marry you. The only time where this is not the case is when the man just wants sex. So if he wants sex and you, he doesn't spend much, then he, he sees you as a low value person. So if a man just wants to have sex with you and you oblige without any restriction, uh, then you are at his mercy. He doesn't really value you. So if a man wants to marry you and you prove difficult, even when you are interested, he loses respect for you. So these are two dynamics you need to consider. The only time when a man will be like, oh, uh, she's low value is when he, he just wants sex, casual sex, and you, you give it up without any restriction. He doesn't see your father, he doesn't know anything. Uh, no date, nothing, and you guys start having casual sex, you are low value to him. But if he gives the indication that I like you, I want to marry you, and you don't put too much requirements on his head like dates and all those things, he values you more. 
they are the person that watch so many superficial things. Try to think uh, like a man for a second with me. Don't experiment. If you spend, if you plan to spend the rest of your life with a woman, do you pick the one that makes simple things hard? Or do you pick the one that makes things complex? So no man in his right mind will do such a crazy thing as to pick a lady that will make his life hard and expensive. As long as a man's goal is not sex, he would honor you for not frustrating him. You may say, how do I know he wants to marry me or uh, how do I know he's here for marriage and not for sex? Well, it starts with him as a lady. So disclaimer, this only works for women who are chaste themselves. It will not work. This thing I'm about to see does not work for women who have casual sex. It's for women who already have track record of being chased. So listen, I will repeat again. This is not for women who have casual sex with the men they have feelings or attraction to. Then hold back that same sex they give freely to men who show interest to them and want to marry them. Because if a man can sense that you normally on a casual day, on a normal day, you you casually give sex to people. The people that don't commit to you, who don't even have your number in some cases, or people who you just like all of a sudden. But for them who are more or less committing, you are not giving that same sex to them. They feel cheated. I'm not here supporting casual sex, but flow with me. Disclaimer, this only works for women who are chaste in themselves. This is not for the women who have casual sex with men they are attracted to and these same women hold back the same sex from the men that actually commit to them that want to marry them. This is not for these women. So if a man can sense that you can give, you can casually have sex with other men that do not commit to you, but you yourself are putting restrictions to him that is committed to you, that man will feel cheated. So if you are not chased, kindly skip this part. First, stop having casual sex. Second, don't go out with guys you have no interest in marrying yourself. That is to say, after getting to know a guy and you discover you are not attracted and you are not attracted to him and you don't think he is, uh, he would be a good husband, don't entertain more day. Don't go out on more dates, don't collect gifts, just stop it. Just be honest and most reasonable guys would understand. The unreasonable guys will flick and will threaten and will be like babies. But that is one of the reasons why you are injecting them in the first place. Third, date only for the goal of marriage. Tell the guy, stay away from sex. Tell the guy, I only date people for marriage. If you want to date me, it's only going to end in marriage. This is after you have known the guy, all those things. The guy will understand. Stay away from sex to see if you can stand each other without sex. Because if you can't stand each other without sex, what do you think marriage will be? Do you think you'll be having sex all the time, all the time, all the time, and the feelings will be there, feelings will be there? The bulk of the time, you will be interacting with this person. Interact with this person now. At the end of three months, or you will know if a man wants to date you or wants to marry you, as in whether he wants to date you for marriage or not. If you are a chore to the man, most men will just be. Note, men can say they want to date you for marriage just to have sex with you. So if you have this information, do with this information what you may. So this is where your record of chastity comes in handy. Don't break that record. If a man wants to have sex with you, even before he marries you, don't give him that opportunity and it should not even be on the table. If you're a virgin, it's even better. You have a better record of chastity and he cannot just come at this virgin. You are saving yourself from marriage. Once a man knows that, oh, there is something like a reward, he will be willing to it. But if there's no reward and you are already a casual free loader or rather free giver, he, um, he will expect you to actually have sex with him. I'm not saying it's justified, but it's reasonable. So don't go and be a pig and expect somebody to treat you like a, like a princess. My conclusion, men don't need to spend on you. They only need to spend on you to value you for casual sex. My views are Christian. I have a Christian world. So I pray this blesses you and you can use it to benefit your land as a lady and as a man. Please leave me a like if you like the video. Share the video if, you, if this can help somebody you know, a lady or a guy. And subscribe to help the channel get to 1,000 subscribers. This is Dixon. 
Signing out. Bye-bye.